NASA sent spacecraft through an asteroid belt, and they survived. No scratches, no collisions. How is that even possible? In the movies, the asteroid belt is a death trap. Pilots dodging boulders every second like it's an obstacle course. But reality? It's way more boring, and way more mind-blowing. There are millions of asteroids, yes, but they're scattered across a vast area between Mars and Jupiter. It's like spreading a handful of sand across the entire United States. But it's not just luck. NASA doesn't just wing it. Every mission through the belt is a precision masterpiece. NASA tracks tens of thousands of asteroids in real time using radar and telescopes. These rocks are predictable, they orbit the sun like planets do. So engineers calculate safe routes decades in advance. Juno traveled over 2.8 billion kilometers and passed through the asteroid belt flawlessly. Because space isn't chaos, it's physics. Still, that doesn't mean it's risk-free. There's one danger that can't be seen on radar, and it's way scarier than big rocks. We're talking about micrometeoroids, tiny fragments of space rock smaller than a grain of sand flying at speeds up to 60,000 kilometers per hour. Even a speck can rip through a spacecraft. To fight this, spacecraft use special shielding, like NASA's Whipple Shield, layers of protection that vaporize small debris on impact. So, how do spacecraft survive the asteroid belt, not by dodging like Han Solo, but by mastering physics, planning, and decades of genius? Smash that like button if you learned something new, and subscribe for more Space Secrets Revealed.